Okay, if no one's gonna say anything, then I will. Ibu, how can you even think of letting that woman move in here? I told you, she's having your abang's baby. That baby is family. We need to take care of it. But that's not fair to Count Rose. She'll be forced to see her face every day. Ibu, she has a point. You have no say in this. You created this problem. Now we have to fix it. Ibu is right, okay? It's not fair that she has to have a child alone. I keep telling you, Shira's manipulating you and Ibu. Enough! I told you all already. I made up my mind. Do you come in? James is still pissed with me. What do you expect? You let your personal shenanigans enter the workplace. Those girls came here uninvited. Louis, you were dating both of them at the same time. You should treat April and Ava with more respect. It's a weakness of mine. Girls with A names. Know what I mean, Ananya? I hope they dump you. On the contrary, they won't stop calling. I guess I'll just have to let them fight it out. May the best babe win. <laughs> It's tough, okay? Everyone wants a piece of me. You miss your mother, don't you? What? You miss her and the soap opera that comes along with her. Where do you come up with all this stuff? And because she's not around, you turn your own life into a soap opera. That's what you think. It's what I know. Thank you, Dr. Freud. I think our time is up. It's okay. I can do it myself. Careful, sir. Your breakfast, Mum? I can't eat. I'm too nervous. You changed again. It's the official opening of my new boutique. First impressions are very important. Rosa, where's that red top? The Zanetti? I haven't ironed it, Mum. You wore it on Friday. Go iron it. You changed again, ah? Rosa! I can't wear something I was in three days ago. Everyone has seen me in it. Mum, remember the dress you wore to Sir Philip's uh, birthday dinner? Only Philip and his wife have seen me in it. You're a jam, Rosa. Why am I drinking tea? It's chamomile. You need to calm down, Mum. Better go get the dress. Rosa, you're so patient. It's my job. Then what about Ella? Does she help men when she has problem? No, Mum. Then when she's finished that, who talks to her? There's only me. Rosa, there are some creases in this. Smile. Why change? This is nice. This is dull. Makes you look good. It's fine if you don't come for the opening. Serious? As you said, you'll be bored. So, why force the issue? How come? This opening is important to you. Sarah? Yes? How are things going? It's fine. Can I help you with anything? About yesterday... I already apologized. But you haven't made it up to me. I see. How would I make it up to you? Bring some envelopes to the meeting room. That's it? Envelopes? Yeah, what else? Okay, um, how many what size? Ten. Big ones. Because, you know, I've got big, important documents to send out. Sure. I'll get them right away. I think he likes you, Zara. Who? Louis? He came here for no reason except to talk to you. To assign me work. Don't pretend to be so blur. The guy's a player. He's got women falling all over him. Louis is a big flirt. Major flirt. And I'll do anything to be in his shoes. You think that's cool? No. Never. That's... It's disgraceful. Hi, Jessica. Um, congrats on the opening. Thanks, Rose. Is that the Kwe Kwe? Um, yes. 
Has something happened since the last time we spoke? It's your shop's opening. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Nonsense. What is it? What has happened? My mother-in-law wants the other woman to move in with us. What? How can she do that? She says that it's Zarin's child, so he's responsible for bringing him up. This is awful. I'm so sorry, Rose. I don't know what to do. You can't let it happen. Throughout my marriage with Derek, I've never had him to myself. Celia and Eunice may have divorced him, but they're so entrenched in everything the family does. Even Derek can't get rid of them. But you know what Zarin's mother is like. Adina is very headstrong. But you are Zarin's wife, for goodness sake. This person is just a dalliance. Don't take this lying down, or you end up having no say in the family. I never had a say. Then don't let it go on like this. Zara, you can drop what you're doing. You've been reassigned. I'm being reassigned? To Louis. He says he needs your help. But I'm still working on our project. Not anymore. Told you he likes you. Can I say no? Of course not. Louis is a Shelly. You must have put on some kind of an act for my mother. What was it? The poor, lost, pitiful soul? What are you talking about? Come on. My mother wants you to move to my place. Are you serious? She says the baby is mine, so father and mother should live in the same house. Hey, this is news to me too, okay? You didn't put her up to it? Ask yourself, why would I want to stay with your family? It's crazy. Fine. But this doesn't change anything between us. We're over. I feel exactly the same way. So please, let me get back to work. Uh, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Shelley, but my staff can't make it. Now? Now you tell me? I was just informed myself. So who's going to help you serve the food and drinks? I will try to manage it on my own. I invited lots of people. This is unacceptable. Of all the days, your people can't make it. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Shelley. Call me, Lewis. OK. Sit down. I won't bite. Keith told me that I've been assigned to you. Yes, you have. This is your project, Mr. Francis Wong. The folder is empty. You're quite sharp. Zara, I want you to fill it up. Francis Wong is a potential client of Shelley Holdings. I want to know everything about him. You know, the A to Z, the professional to the personal, where he hangs out, who he hangs out with, who he's dating. OK, I'll do my best. So. Where do you go to school? Is there a deadline for this project? Are you a business major? All the business babes are hot. A few have interned here. No. So how are you finding your internship? Do you like it here? Do you like your colleagues? Do you like me? Good, yes, yes, no. <laughs> you might want to reconsider those answers. Well, at least the last one. No, I'm sorry. So. What's the deadline for this project? You have two days. OK. So I guess I better get started then. It's nice. 
The colors are very nice. Yeah. Excuse me. Eh? Champagne for you, Mr. Shelley. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Feel free to look around. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Come, come, come. Try our new Tao Hui. Come. We make it every day. Colette. Weren't those people here just five minutes ago? I think so. Business is gonna boom for me, one. I hope she has the decency to send me a thank you card. <laughs> Eunice. <laughs> Celia. Hello. Good of you to come. Wouldn't miss this for the world. So how do you like the decor? Mm, very tasteful. You did a good job. Thank you, darling. Can I get you ladies a coffee? Lovely. Brian, two coffees, please. I ran out of cups. It's all right, young man. I'll have mine in a takeaway cup if you have one. Nah, freshly washed cups. Just in time. No problem. Something to eat. No, thank you. Thanks, you. I see you've managed to reform Ayok. Feel free to look around. Thank you. Come in, have a seat. Come, come. We need to make new batch of tahu already. I heard you're reporting to Louis now. I hope I can impress him. Let's put it this way. You are pretty enough. But I really intend to prove myself here. Good. Then you will impress Nanya. She's the brains of this place. Really? Has Louis hit on you already? She wouldn't be talking about this so openly. He's toxic, okay? Does whatever he like. Worst thing is, all the guys here love him. Including Zarin? Once you suck up to Louis, you move up the ladder very quickly. I'm not here to play politics. I'm all about the work. This is a lovely piece. It's made from pure bamboo and it's organic and very breathable. It's also made without the use of any harmful chemicals. Nah. Relax. Am I trying too hard? Is it obvious? Just let people look see, look see. Don't need to tell story. You don't understand. No one expected me to open a boutique, especially one like this. People are waiting to see me fail. The shop is nice. The clothing is nice. Just let the shoppers make up their own mind. Don't force them to buy. I guess I'm used to having my own way. I know. That's why I'm here. I had a feeling we would hit it off. From the first time we met, actually. You're kidding me. Ava and April are still after you. April is begging me to take a bag, man. Wait, is that her? This is a naughty, naughty photo. <laughs> How old is she? she? She looks young. She's definitely over 21. Do you like the photo? Do you want me to send it to you? Ah, oh, better, better not. Your wife wouldn't like it. Or your mistress. How do you do it, man? What? Two girls at the same time? It just takes a little practice, man. It's easy. I'll teach you. Ibo, can we talk? What about Shira? Are you really going to let her move in? Yes. Ibo, don't I have a say in this at all? Do you want Zarin's child to grow up not knowing his father? No, but... But what if Zarin and her... 
Rose, when the time is right, Shira will give you and Zarin the child, and you can bring it up as your own. Are you serious? You want a child, right? But even Shira is a career woman. She loves her job. She has no time for a child. But that doesn't mean that she's just going to hand him over to us. You leave that to me. Jessica, congratulations. Your shop is delightful. <laughs> what do you think, Celia? Oh, it's lovely. Not just because I designed the layout, it really is lovely. Honestly speaking, I should reprimand myself for thinking the worst. But I think you've outshone yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. It means a lot. Oh, and you fed us so well too? <laughs> I heard there were some problems with the catering staff. Well, Yook stepped in to help. She's been indispensable. How wonderful. Excuse me, I need to speak with Mrs. Ching. Yook, how do you like your mother's cute little shop? Celia, I heard a customer say I'm a hipster, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jessica has no idea what she's getting herself into. I give this shop six months tops. I don't know why Derek allowed this. Thank goodness he's not here to witness this. <sighs> Otherwise, you'll put him in a coma if he's not already in one. You're so fake. I can't stand you. She has no manners. And no class. Well, she's Jessica's daughter after all. This is really thorough. That's Francis Wong's career information. I'm still compiling information on his personal life. I like what I'm seeing so far. You know, most students treat internships like a holiday, but this is top-notch. Thank you. I really like it here. Really? Better than at uni? Uni? Yeah, much better than uni. I mean, the people here are so great. Anyway, I have reconsidered my answers. Which answers? To the questions that you asked. You know, if I like it here, if I like my colleagues, if I like you. To which you replied, yes, yes, no. So you've reconsidered your answers, meaning you've changed your mind? Just the answer to the last question. Oh. Let's hear it. So, you've been really nice to me, so my answer to the last question is... Yes? Maybe? I'm very sorry, Eunice. Yo didn't mean what she said. She's just had a bit too much to drink. I didn't drink that much. I'm still waiting for an apology. Yo, why are you so scared of them? They don't respect you, they insult you behind your back. Eunice is your elder. You should give her the respect. No. She's your husband's ex-wife. Why should I show her anything? And I'm your mother. Listen to me and apologize right now. Well, Celia, do you see anything you like? Neither do I. Let's go. Lewis ran up a hefty bill at the country club. Entertainment expenses, I hope. Give him a shelling and take care of that soon. I don't want to getting out that the Shelleys can't pay for their club bills. Sure. 
Won't be the first time I've had to clean up after Lewis. You should give me an extra appointment. Chief Family Affairs Officer. I'm feeling really undervalued here. Oh, FYI, can I leave early? I have to take my car to the workshop. It's making a funny clanking sound. Sure. Thanks. Louis is a major jerk. And that stupid big brother of mine actually sucks up to him. I've never seen him act like that before. You think he's been influenced by Louis? Handsome. He had a fling with Shira. And he got her pregnant. That's the kind of thing that Louis is more than capable of. How can Louis see you? It's your old. Yeah. Ancient. So creepy. Mm. Oh my god, it's Louis. Hey Zara, you're super cool working with you today. More of the same tomorrow? Don't encourage him, okay? Handsome, what do you take me for? Surprised. You helped yourself to all the champagne yesterday. Mm, it was good. You were very rude to Eunice. Is it? I expect you to apologize to her and to me as well. It was the official opening of my boutique and you ruined it. Fine. You can apologize when you're ready to do so. In the meantime, you will work at my boutique the whole day today as punishment. You think what? Paritu, ah? Uh? 